Hey yo, university check. Hello everyone, and today we are going to discuss the pros and cons of our life at NASA Mises. We are studying in the first year of the Faculty of Linguistics. At the end of the second year, we will have the opportunity to make a choice. We will be able to go to study in the direction of pedagogy or translators. Now we have time to think and decide which direction we want to connect our future life with. The location of the university and the location of buildings can be overlooked. Newsmissis is located in the city center and all buildings are in the same area, which makes student lives much easier. Also, there are lots of different coffee shops, stores and cafes where we can just relax or have lunch. The next plus is the teaching staff. We are definitely lucky with our teachers, because their lessons are not only informative, but also really interesting and riveting. Many teachers have different certificates or awards, which really prove their professionalism. Internships and partnerships with different universities. I think this is one of the main pluses, because thanks to our university, Students have the opportunity to study abroad, which allows them not only to learn the language and broaden their horizons, but also meet new fascinating people and make new friends. The next plus I can point to is that there are many places where you may study on your own, do homework or just go about your business. So you can easily do it in the library, in the B building and beyond. There are also many places where you can relax or have a good time with your fellow students during breaks. For instance, in every corp, especially in the B building, you can find ultimates or couches on practically every floor. Our university has student associations that are involved in different areas, so they organize various activities for the students to participate in. Uh, you can find out about student organization on the website or on the 1st of September when they introduce themselves. Another advantage is that students have the opportunity to take supplementary classes. However, this is not always possible, and timing of additional lessons and all information about it is posted in the university's official group. Our university provides access to fee-based programs, services, uh, and online material. For example, you could use uh, as I remember, all uh, softwares of Microsoft, also Windows, um, VPN, and so forth. If you want to use them, you need to go to a personal account, click here, and select what you want. Each building has canteens with a wide variety of dishes and complex lunches. Every morning from 8 am, you can get a free breakfast in the canteen of Building B. You can also choose a quick snack in one of the vending machines that are installed in each building. There is a store with a large selection of products as well. Each faculty has a curator and each group has mentors and tutors. They all support students and help them monitor their progress. They also inform students about important and interesting events at the university, help them contact with the administration and advise them in making an individual study path and choosing a future profession. The institute has a large number of sports sections and teams, for example, hockey, boxing, dancing, volleyball, judo and many others. Some sports teams participate in competitions and games. You can also get into the gym for free. Basically, all works and home assignments are done by students in the Canvas platform. Working in this system is very convenient. There you can view lectures and various useful course materials. Teachers also leave homework with deadlines for us to attach. One of the main drawbacks, in my opinion, is the short breaks. The breaks are only 15 minutes, but many students need to move to another building. Also, there is no big lunch break, so we really have no time to eat or rest at all. Another drawback, there is no detailed map of the university for first-year students. 
In the winter, it's quite cold to walk from building to building on the street, but not all the students understand the system of internal passages. So it would be great if there was some detailed maps or an app that has maps of all building and transitions. There are 11 floors in building B and curious elevators are constantly forming. They often stop on every floor and take a very long ride. Because of this, more and more queries are accumulating. It takes a long time to get to the top floor. As for disadvantages, I could single out a few things from the D building. On almost every floor of this corp, there are no places to sit and wait for classes to start. So students just stay around during the whole break. I may also mention that the lifts in this building are tiny. So people either wait a long time and are late for classes or they just walk up to the fourth or fifth floor.